So we, what we have here now introduced now last Thursday, and there was a pretty much buzz in the world, is essentially a new category of devices, which is a, is a mobile computer. So it takes computer technology into a form factor that fits in your hand, and, and it's called the N900. What we have done here is essentially taking bo both the user interface logic and as well the raw crunching power of, of, a, of a computer and taking it in the handset size. So what we have here is, for example, something that is, is, is highly personalized, something you can change a lot. You have a desktop with many items that you have, for example, your Facebook widget, your weather widget. Now, I don't have network coverage. You have your personal contacts here. Uh, you have shortcuts to, to for example, just the, the phone application. The phone becomes really only an application on the device. Then, then you have these apps in integrated essentially all sitting on, on your desktop, so you build your own desktop like you would do on your computer. Mm -hmm. I guess you have your own desktop set up like you want, with your wallpaper, shortcuts, maybe some Yahoo widgets. So all these things you can do on this device too. So you have four home screens. So that's one of the things we have really done well. But what's maybe more important is that we change the way you use your device. When you have, you all have, that's a, here's one smartphone. Well, there's not much multitasking here. There's another Symbian device. All the Symbian devices, I don't know how much you do multitasking, but this is really designed for multitasking. So mm -hmm. the logic is that you keep the frequently used applications open. So actually, you don't open and close them, you just, whoops, you just switch between the applications. And the trick here is not only that you have one little window per application, <coughs> but you, have, you can have several. So for example, I'm following several conversations. Mm -hmm. This is for example. My wife. Who's that? Oh no, that was my wife. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, so you have several windows that you keep just open. You jump between the same with, with the web page. So we can have several web pages open, the ones you feel most like, like Twitter, and then you just keep them open. And if you see a new entry on it, you just jump between them. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a different kind of way of working. If you take it typically. Uh, a smartphone, you would open an application, go to application grid from the home screen, and then you close the application because most people are not using actively this multitasking button. And this is designed entirely different. Here the assumption is because we have we have so much processing power on this and we have a gigabyte of application memory, you just keep the applications open. Like you would you do on your Mac. So so if you use a Mac for example you're used to kind of that experience that you keep the stuff open. So this device is designed for people that have multiple things open on their taskbar on a computer or on the, on, on the expose in a Mac. And for these kind of people, we have built this user interface where you jump between different things. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's very simple and very fast. <laughs> and if you want to go just back to the, to the dashboard, from the dashboard back to the desktop, you just click into the empty area. And since we have for everything hardware accelerated graphics, it's very smart, smooth transitions. So for example, what happens now is when I'm here on the desktop and I go to the dashboard, actually the, the desktop, oops, the, the desktop is blurring to the back. So, so these kind of concepts with the multitasking and the, here, this is the traditional application. Right? Mm -hmm. This is what you might be just used to. So then when you open, a, you want to open a new application, which you don't use frequently, then you go to a traditional mm -hmm. menu. menu. Mm -hmm. But what happens actually, this new application is now put to the dashboard. And if you want to close them, you just tap on them, these fellows, and whoops, they close. So this kind of multitasking is something pretty unique that we're introducing to the market. I mean, the browser, of course, based on Mozilla technology, this is, this is just regular Twitter. Mm -hmm. So you see somewhere, I don't know, it's not my folks that are here twittering. So. So this is just a regular page, and then you just, for example, double tap, and zooms in. And you zoom out, for, for example, column size. And then if you want oh, to yeah, do, if you want to, if you do, uh, you can do this weird thing here, or if you go again back to, to column size, wait a second. Then what happens, then you can jump, for example, just by one screen size, just by pressing the space code. Mm -hmm. So these are all funny little tricks that you can do, you just, have different shortcuts and you're back to the dashboard and you have the multiple web pages and they're all alive so essentially what happens is uh, th these are all the things on the dashboard they're alive so these are actually not, not, not just screenshots but these are live images so when you have a new instant messaging inc incoming you would see for example that oh there's something new I want to see so then you open the little window 
and it pops up. So this is, for example, now a hardware accelerated game. So this is like a bounce game that you know, with, with accelerometer you can play play around. And if I put it on the dashboard, it's still running there. Mm -hmm. So in order to to be able to run this processing intensive applications, mm -hmm. you need a lot of crunching power, and the N900 delivers you exactly that. Okay. So that's a little bit of a of an overview. So so we have the Mozilla based browser in here, and a lot of computer technology and crunching power mm -hmm. in order to deliver this.